Welcome to the 35th anniversary season of Discover Wisconsin. I can't believe I'm even saying that. That's like half of my life. And being a proud Wisconsinite, I wanna thank you for joining us for 34 years as we journey across this great state. There's a lot to explore and you'll see a lot of it in this upcoming season. This week on Discover Wisconsin, we're traveling in style from the chain to Maine in Wampaka. <laughs> Discover Wisconsin. Wapaka resides just west of the Fox Valley, close enough to commute for working professionals, but far enough away to host relaxing getaways for seasonal cottage goers and family vacations. And when you arrive, one of the first things you'll notice is the natural beauty of the chain of lakes. So this is considered a sternwheeler boat? Yeah, this is a true sternwheeler. It's powered just by the wheel in the back. Someone asked how fast does the boat go? It has two speeds, slow and stop. So it's definitely a slow, relaxing Very slow cruise. Very slow and relaxing, yes. I, I love a good relaxing cruise. Yeah. yeah, it is a perfect day for it. Well, the boat was originally built in 1963 for the 1964 centennial for the Chief Oshkosh Brewery. I bought the boat a few years later and uh, cut it in two pieces and hauled it 50 miles up here on the road. So it has a really rich history and now your vision has been brought to life and it's the chief of the Chain of Lakes of Wapaka. That's so great. The Chain of Lakes are really special. That is a huge draw to Wapaka. Chain of Lakes was all glacier form, so they're very deep. It's all spring fed water, so they're very clean and clear. How many lakes are in the Chain of Lakes? There's 22 lakes all together. 22, wow. And this one goes on how many lakes? This boat goes on eight lakes. The fun of being on the water is not just the water itself, but the shoreline and everything you get to see. Absolutely, like to our right now is Loyola Villa. It's a Jesuit retreat camp. I learned a lot as I got the full tour, but there were a few things that definitely stood out to me. First, the Chief Wapaka gives an impressive view of the Wisconsin veteran's home at King, and its beautiful setting provides peace and tranquility for veterans requiring compassionate care built on a foundation of integrity, honor, and respect. An impressive sanctuary with a rich history that dates back to the Civil War. Fortunately for me, fun in the water was on the agenda at my next stop the beautiful Crystal River Inn and Cottages. What a gorgeous property. I feel so relaxed right here along the river, so cool. So tell me a little bit about the history of this place. So in the mid 1800s, our homestead was settled by the Potts family and was a working farm up until 1977. And in 1987, the original owners of the B&B bought it and made it into a bed and breakfast. We have seven rooms in the inn. We have two rooms on the first floor that each have a private entrance. We have three cottages, so the little house on the prairie and the granary, sleep six, and then we have the coop, which actually used to be an old chicken coop um, that is darling, and that sleeps two. The breakfast here was incredible. It basically was dessert for breakfast, which is exactly what I like. All of your guests have access to kayaks if they want to kayak they, down the river. They do. We're happy to transport you free. We have several different routes depending on the type of adventure that you're looking for, and it's a lot of fun, and you can actually paddle right back to the end. And speaking of kayaking, I also hear that for my fellow kayakers, there's this really cool thing called the Clear Kayak Glow Tour. It's put on by Adventure Outfitters. And basically you go kayaking in the dark and your kayak glows. I don't know what else to say other than a truly unique experience waiting for you in Wapaka. Just wanted to pop on and wish Discover Wisconsin a very happy 35th anniversary year. I am so excited to be a part of this upcoming season. 
Welcome back to Wapaka here on Discover Wisconsin. For a small town, Wapaka has some great shopping. But before we venture down the newly improved Main Street, let's stop at historic Danes Hall. It's the venue for events and weddings. Danes Hall really represents the history of the entire, not only town, but county. Back in 1894 when the building was built, over 50% of the uh, county was born in Denmark. And this is their building where they um, learned to become Americans, really. Um, it is what I say, it's where history and hospitality meet. So today, it is now the place where weddings occur and anniversaries and we have Christmas concerts here. So this is really the center for the community's celebrations. Just around the corner from Danes Hall, you'll find so many cute stores. I've wandered into Fletcher's Jewelry because, you know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Fletcher's Jewelry is a locally owned and operated jewelry store right here in Wapaka, Wisconsin. We've been on Main Street since 1937. My great-grandfather opened our first store right down the road towards the Danes Hall and eventually we moved this way. It's very special to have generations of people coming here year after year for their Christmas gifts, for engagements, seeing people my age getting engaged when their parents got engaged with a, a ring from here or their grandparents got their rings from here. Another fun store is Wapaka River Gallery and Gifts, also known as Framing by Preston. It's a retail shop. It started off as mainly framing by Preston. I did a lot of custom framing and print selling, art selling, and we added Wapaka River Gallery and Gifts just to make it more retail friendly. It is fun. It's not your typical gift shop. It's really unique. It's got a specific colorful aesthetic. It's perfect for a lake home, a cabin. I don't know about you, but shopping makes me hungry. And a great place to stop on Main Street for a bite to eat is Little Fat Gretchen's. It's so much more than a diner. It's a great place to connect with locals and get a sense of what makes Wapaka special. Main Street is just one example of the vibrant businesses in town. There are several national and global companies based in Wapaka, providing jobs and revenue for the community and surrounding areas. Wapaka well, is a great place to work because we have a variety of different things. Um, everything from silent sports-based activities, tourism-based activities, to large employer manufacturing. Uh, Wapaka well, Foundry is a great example who makes pieces for Ram, John Deere, um, companies that are known worldwide. And then also uh, Wapaka well, Santa Solutions who, who does a lot of work with golf courses and ballparks. So if you're at a major league ballpark, that ballpark might actually have infield mix that was made right here in Wapaka. And then I think that's what makes Wapaka great, is it has all these opportunities for so many different types of interest. You can build a career here, but you can also build a family here in a way that a lot of people are looking for. The Wapaka community is so special because it's a great place to raise kids. All the parks and wrecks and rivers that, that exist in, in this area, but also because of our school district and the quality education that we're able to provide. The Wapaka Way is part of the reason for our success. The Wapaka Way is a set of principles, responsible, respectful, safe, and prepared. And these are the principles that we teach our students and that we live by. And it's also kind of filtered into our community. If you go to the city's rec center, you'll see that poster hanging there. And in our businesses as well, you'll see the Wapaka Way hanging in our businesses. It's the way we do business. Want to learn more about our favorite places to visit in Wisconsin? Subscribe to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin. When we come back, we'll discover what attracts artists and athletes to Wapaka for one fun-filled summer weekend. Discover Wisconsin is back, living large in Wapaka. No matter the season, Wapaka has an incredible calendar of events that attract tourists and entertain locals. But the third week in August is super special because it hosts the annual Wapaka Triathlon and Arts on the Square. The Wapaka Area Triathlon started in 2001. And in our case, our long course triathlon is a half mile swim, 20 mile bike, and a 5K run. We substituted the kayaking out. 
So you can now substitute the kayak for the swim portion of the event. I think our triathlon special in that it, we're very family friendly. Uh, we are very open to all fitness types. We have heard stories that this is the first triathlon that many people participate in. It's very community oriented and community supported event. So we're really appreciative of our volunteers. We also have a kids try on Friday night and a lot of families will come out. Again, the participation is a, is a really nice part of it because we get a lot of spectators at our event. After the race, don't miss Arts on the Square, which attracts artists from all across the nation. Tell me a little bit about this event in general, because it's much more than art. You right. have interactive components, entertainment components, there's so much going on. There is a lot, and it's partially because our Wapaka Community Arts Board, we have a lot of ideas, and we like participation with our group, so the workshops are a really huge part of what we do. So we try to have at least six or seven participatory workshops where any age can do it. Some are for smaller kids, some are for adults. It's just, it's a little hard to describe, but you've been walking around and you can see that there's kind of an energy here and it's like a destination for the whole day. I think there's two different reasons people come. One's the music and one's the art. That's one of the things that stood out to me. I've been to several different art shows right. or, or festivals, but this is kind of like an art show and a festival it is. and a workshop. I mean, there's so many things right. going on that there's something for everybody. And that goes right with our mission as the Wapaka Community Arts Board in that we believe that art is for everyone. If music is your thing, you've got to visit the historic Indian Crossing Casino. It's not a casino, it's a music landmark that hosts local and big name entertainers. They also host the Chain of Lakes Blues Fest. It's sure to stir up a little rhythm in your soul. The Indian Crossing Casino is widely known as one of the more popular and historic live music venues in Wapaka County and for that matter, central Wisconsin. Over its rich history, it's played host to Neil Young, the Beach Boys many times, the Everly Brothers, uh, more recently, the Bodines, uh, Leanne Rimes, Aaron Lewis. What makes Blues Fest and this weekend such an incredible event for not only Wapaka, but for the Indian Crossing Casino, is it brings in a lot of artists that may not normally get to be featured, um, because they're maybe a little smaller or more of a niche genre, but we put them all together and we make a huge weekend out of it. Everybody loves it. It really showcases that Wapak is not a three month destination, that as you can see, it's lovely, it's a great place to be, and you have an amazing time while you're here. Happy 35th anniversary, Discover Wisconsin, coming to you all the way from Los Angeles. I wrote a few episodes for you back in the 90s. Wow, that was such a long time ago. Love Wisconsin, beautiful state, and I love the roses. God bless you guys, happy anniversary. Welcome back to Wapaka here on Discover Wisconsin. Wapaka is truly a year-round destination. The natural beauty of the Chain of Lakes and area parks take on new characteristics in the fall and winter. A drive through Wapaka in the fall is truly a treat, and one of the most scenic trips is a visit to the Red Mill. Built in 1855, it was once a grist mill, but now holds a gift shop. Not to mention the chapel on site is the perfect place for a picturesque wedding. And in the winter, don't miss the beauty and recreation waiting for you outdoors. There's a ton of fun to be had at Hartman Creek State Park and the Wapaka Curling Club. So we are here at Hartman Creek State Park and it is absolutely gorgeous in the winter, but it's beautiful in the summer as well. Behind us, we have one of how many lakes uh, that border of, here? Yeah, one of eight lakes that um, are in, within the boundaries of Hartman Creek State Park. So this place is very geographically interesting, which has a lot to do with the history, right? Yes, yeah, so about 12 to 15,000 years ago, the glaciers moved through Wisconsin and these lakes were formed actually by the glacial drainage and that's the pattern you're seeing on these lakes and the chain of lakes that are formed. And there's a ton to do here. Tell me about some of the activities that people who are visiting can participate yeah. in. Yeah, so we have about uh, nine miles of uh, fat tire bike trails that are groomed for winter use. 
We have about six miles of uh, cross-country ski trails and we have a ton of different um, snowshoeing trails throughout the park. I have never been snowshoeing before. I'm super excited to try yes. it. Any words of advice before I do it? Well, the great thing about snowshoeing is that if you can walk, you can get out here and snowshoe. So you're all set. You're awesome, all ooh, in nice. There. You can grab your trekking cool. poles. Here okay. we go. Here we go. <laughs> snowshoeing was so much fun. It's a great activity to do in the middle of winter and it makes walking so much more fun because you can be that much lighter on the snow. Winter does not slow down in Wapaka. The youth hockey rink is always a hot spot despite cold days. Uh, so the Wapaka Area Youth Hockey Association started in 1979 and uh, we've got 110 kids playing in the program and they play ranges from uh, ages 3 to 14. And then after that, if they want to continue in high school, they can play through the school district at this rink. Hockey is very fast paced. They have to think on their feet and they have to keep moving. And it, and it also builds great social development for the kids. Our mission statement is changing lives one goal at a time. And, and we live on that. So as, as much as we like to win hockey games, ultimately we're out here to develop good adults. And hockey is just the tool to do that. Curling, once an obscure sport, is growing in popularity in Wisconsin, but it's been a beloved community activity for a long time in Wapaka. Uh, Wapaka Curling Club is one of the oldest in the country. It was founded in 1879. I, I love curling because it is a sport for all ages. We have from fifth grade to 70 year olds. It's also a really social sport. We curl with our friends, but it's also competitive and just so much fun, especially in the winter. We're gonna start curling. Here's our traditional greeting, good curling. Good curling. Your objective is to get stones as close to that pin as you can to outcount the other teams. It's very physical, it's very mental. Uh, it's called, been called chess on ice because you've got to pick your shots thinking three, four moves ahead. So I'd love to tell you how it was, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> no, this was harder and more fun than I thought. Like definitely, I can see how all ages can do it, but it's a sport. <laughs> it is not, it may be chess on ice, but it's not just chess. <laughs> it is definitely a sport and it takes strategy and it's so much fun. I met up with Mitch from the Wapaka Area Chamber of Commerce for one more conversation about the rich history, vibrant businesses, and stunning beauty of Wapaka, which I could really sense fills this community with so much pride. Well, Mitch, I love Wapaka. This has been so much fun, and I had already been to Wapaka, enjoyed its summers, but now I'm hooked on its winters as well. Yeah. So thank you so much for having me. It's a great place to visit. It's a great place to live and work, and a great place to raise a family. Cheers to Wapaka! Wapaka! Continue the adventure and stream Discover Wisconsin on all your favorite devices by scanning the QR code in the upper right corner of your screen.